What's the business model of your company? The business model? Yes. Uh, so the, the short term, as I said, is to work with pharmaceutical companies. And we, uh, we've done a, uh, we're actually already working with four or five uh, different companies to help them around different stages of the drug development pathway. Um, I think Do you sell the insight or you sell the, I mean, you sell a service or? At the moment, we're largely selling a service, but we are sort of working up. We think the greatest value of this is if you can get uh, the earliest, uh, as far up the drug development chain as you possibly can, to uh, the target identification stage, essentially. Um, having said that, you know, if we were single-minded about going for pharma companies, there, we wouldn't probably do some of the things we're currently doing. So. What we're trying to do is to build this infrastructure that learns about human biology. There's an immediate use of that knowledge to date in terms of working with the pharmaceutical companies. But there's also lots of opportunities in the future for working with, whether it's healthcare providers or even individuals, to, to make sense of um, the data that they have. Uh, quick question. So you showed a T. Just, oh, it's just a um, minor, well, not minor, but a technical question. The folks that I talk to who work on genetic research are very worried about false discovery. Um, and that has two components. One is you look long enough, you find stuff that doesn't really matter. And there's statistical tools which we have to try to minimize that. But the second is um, the losses involved in making mistakes are different. If you send the research down a wrong path versus missing a research path, in this kind of practical world in which you're working, how do you address those? So uh, I think we put a huge amount of store on um, getting things, the things that we say, they have to be right. Okay, so there is no room in, in if you're trying to, de to develop a, a drug for us to say, oh yeah, we think this will work. You know, it's got to be, it's got to be certain. And so the levels of certainty that we work at are essentially sufficiently low that we, we don't think we ever make a mistake, or almost never make a mistake. But we will miss stuff. We, we will definitely miss stuff. Now, um, that will change over time. As we collect more data, we'll be able to be more certain about more things. OK. So there's one slide that you showed, this tissue-specific pathway activity. Yeah. Uh, just, just curious, that's data from animal models, uh, patients? Uh, so everything I showed you is to do with human data. We are only touching human data. We, there have been so many um, horror stories of drugs being successfully developed to cure mice of some model disease, which then totally fail when they go into humans. So everything is, is human. Um, these are all taken, the, the data underlying that is taken from a NIH-funded uh, project called GTEx, which is all about mapping gene expression across actually a very large number of different tissues from post-mortem samples. Okay, thanks. The, sec the second question is related to like a precision medicine or personalized mm -hmm. medicine. So, you know, a lot of this study, they use a small number of samples in terms of human subjects. So what, what, I, I just wondered, like, uh, curious about your comments yeah. in that direction. So um, there's a reason why we were working with pharmaceutical companies initially, is that I don't think that genetic data by itself is particularly useful for um, the precision medicine for many chronic diseases. That's not true for cancer. Uh, there are many cases in cancer where the genome sequence today makes a big difference to how you should treat someone. Um, I, that is beginning to change for, for um, chronic and rare diseases. And programs like the genomic, uh, the genome, sorry, Genomics England program are clearly trying to push that way. I think what they're finding and that what a lot of people are finding is that the sample sizes are still not big enough to be able to make that kind of really certain, this is a you know, medical intervention level certainty um, to be able to, to, to make that um, individualized choice. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Let's thank you uh, one more time.